In this video, we are going to start with question 3. We are going to start with question 3. So, we are told that table 2 below lists the winnings, endorsements, and total net worth of the mine of the nine highest paid athletes in 2022 all values in the table are given in in millions so we have three columns so where we have the um winnings column and then we have the endorsement and then we have the net worth so our net worth so if we add winnings and endorsement, this gives us our net worth. And remember that all columns or all figures are given in, in millions. Okay, so we have nine highest paid athletes in 2022. So we are told that um, use the above information to answer the questions that follow. So we are going to start with the first question, which is question 3.1. So question 3.1 says that write the winnings of Stefan Carey in, in words. So we need to write the winnings of Stefan Carey in words. So if we look at Stefan Carey, we can see that um, her winnings was um, 42, not 42, was 45.8. Remember it is given in, in millions, meaning, meaning that it is 42, 42. Not 42, it is 45 million 800 thousand dollars. Okay, so we need to write that in in words. So it will be um, 45 45 million 800 800 thousand dollars okay so now let's move to our next question which is question 3.2 3.2 so question 3.2 says that determine the median value of the endorsements of the nine players so we need to determine the median so we'll be looking at the middle column for endorsements and remember guys if we are um, if we need a median or if we are calculating a median what we need to do is to arrange our values from smallest to highest first that's what we need to do so we need to arrange our endorsements from smallest to highest so the smallest one we can see that it's five and then followed by 25 and then followed by 47 and then followed by 50, followed by 52, followed by 55, and then by 55, then 80, and 90. So in total, they need to be 9. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the middle value or the median in this case will be 52 because they are nine. So we have four this side, and then we also have four this side. So our median will be, our median will be 52. Remember it's in millions, it will be 52, 52 million. Okay, so now let's move to the next question, which is question two, which is question 3.3. .3. Question 3.3. .3. So question 3.3 .3 says that calculate the value of B. Um, so we can see that B is the B is the total, right? So calculate the value of B, which is the total net worth of the nine players, if the total net worth of Roger Federer. So we can see that on our net worth column, we have an empty space for for Roger Federer. So we are told that calculate the value of B if the total net worth of the nine players and then if the total net worth of Roger Federer is 30.5 million dollars less than that of LeBron 
James. So to get the net worth of Roger Federer, we just subtract 30.5 from LeBron James um, net worth. So if we check on our table, we can see that LeBron James net worth was 121.2. So to get the net worth of Roger Federer, we need to subtract 30.5. Okay, so now we'll just, just go ahead and sub, substitute this on our calculator. So it will be 121.2 minus 30.5. And our answer will be 90.7, meaning that the net worth of Roger Federer is 90.7. So now we are asked to calculate the value of B. So to get the value of B, we just add the entire net worth of the nine players so we are going to add 130 plus 121.2 plus 115 plus 95 plus 92.8 plus 92.1 Plus, plus the one that we calculated for Roger Federer, which is 90.7, plus 90, plus 83.9. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate this. So it will be 130 plus 121.2 plus 115 plus 95 plus 92.8 plus 92.1 plus 90.7 plus 90 plus 83.9 so in total it will be 9 10 point seven million dollars so that's our answer for question 3.3 so now let's move to the next question which is question 3.4 but we don't have enough space because we need to calculate our mean so let's first create our space don't forget to like the video if you haven't and also subscribe to the channel so that when we upload you are the one you are the first to be notified so now let's move to question 3.4 question 3.4 so question 3.4 says that calculate the mean winnings for 2022 so we need to calculate the mean winnings for 2022 so we know that the mean is the same as the is the same as the average so if we are looking for the mean it means that we are looking for the average and with the average we just add everything up and then divide by the total number okay so now we can see that the winnings of Roger Federer are missing but we know that his net worth was 90.7 and remember that with net worth net worth is winnings plus plus endorsement so if we subtract um, his endorsement of 90, so if we say 90.7 minus 90, we can see that his winnings was 0 0.7. So winnings will be 0 0.7. So this is for Roger Federer, the one that has the three dashes. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work out our mean. So our mean, we just add everything and then divide by the total number. So we are going to say 75 plus 41.2 plus 60 plus 70 plus 45.8 plus 42.1 plus 0 0.7. So the 0 0.7 is this one. Okay and then plus 85 and then plus 31.9 divide by 
the total number of players of athletes which is nine so now let's go ahead and add all this so we are going to say 75 plus 41.2 plus 60 plus 70 plus 45.8 plus 42.1 plus 0 0.7 plus 85 plus 31.9 and our answer will be um four three four five three point seven so it's zero point seven so let's check let's double check so it's seventy five plus forty one point two and then plus sixty plus seventy plus forty five point eight plus forty two point one plus zero point seven plus 85 plus 31.9 yeah so our answer is 451.7 divide by 9 so if we divide this by 9 we will get our mean mean that our mean is um our mean is equals to 50.2 so this is 50.2 million dollars remember all our values are given in millions that that's where we have to say million dollars okay so now that brings us to the end of question 3.4 and let's move to question 3.5 3.5 so we are told that express um the endorsement amount of cristiano ronaldo as a percentage of his total net worth so once we see as a percentage on the question, it means that we need to multiply by by 100 because the answer that we get, we are going to get needs to be in a percentage form. So they are saying that express the endorsement amount of Cristiano Ronaldo. So if we go to Cristiano Ronaldo, his endorsement amount is 55. So we are told to express the endorsement amount of Cristiano Ronaldo um as a percentage of his total net worth means that we're going to divide by his total net worth and the total net worth of cristiano ronaldo is 115 okay meaning that um it will be 55 divided by 115 multiplied by 100 so it will be 47 point eight three percent okay and now let's move to our next question which is question 3.3.5 3.6 so but let's create a bit of space so that we don't squeeze everything here at the bottom okay remember guys that we do have extra classes which are very very affordable and if you wish to join, you can just WhatsApp, send a text message on WhatsApp on the number that you are seeing on the screen. And then we will be able to add you on the, on the group. So now let's move to question 3.6. Question 3.6 says that write down the winnings of Neymar as a simplified ratio. So this is a ratio question. So we need to write down the winnings of Neymar. So we can just come and say winnings of Neymar and then as a simplified ratio 2 so the 2 represents the 2 dots 2 um, to the total net worth of Camelo Alvarez so the total net worth of Camelo Alvarez so we can say not net worth of Camelo okay so the winnings of Neymar if we go on our table, we can see that the winnings of Neymar are seventy million dollars, and then the net worth of Camelo Alvarez is ninety. So in this case, we are told to write it as a simplified ratio. We are told to write it as a simplified ratio, meaning that we need to find the common factors 
common factors of both 70 and 90. So by common factors, they mean that the two numbers that if we multiply them, they will give us 70. And the other two numbers that if we multiply them, they will give us 90. So we know that 7 multiplied by 10 is 70. And we also know that 9 multiplied by 10 is also 70. Meaning that our common factor in this case will be, will be 10. Because 10 can be used to multiply both. So let's just verify. So if we say 7 multiplied by 10, we get 70. If we say 9 multiplied by 10, we get 90. So meaning that 10 is our common factor. So we are going to divide by 10. And again, remember that what we do on our right hand side, we also need to do it on our left hand side. So we'll just come here and divide by 10. So 90 divided by 10, get 9. And then 70 divided by 10, we get 7. So this is our simplified ratio. This is our simplified ratio. So now let's move to the next question, which is question 3.7. So this is the last question. So it's question 3.7. So question 3.7 says that determine the probability as a decimal fraction rounded to three decimal places of randomly selecting a player from the table above that plays any sport except soccer. So if we are determining the probability, we need to, de we need to divide by the total, by the total. And in this case, the total will be the total number of athletes, which is Nine. So now we need to determine the players that plays any other sport except soccer. So we can see the first one is Lionel Messi. He plays soccer. So we are not going to count him. So we are going to count LeBron James who plays basketball. So it will be LeBron James. Um, it will be Roger Federer. It will be Canelo Alvarez. And then it will be Tom Brady. So in total there will be four. So in total, it's four players that don't play soccer, but play other sports. So it's four divided by nine. So we are told to round off our answer to three decimal places. So we just come and plug this in on our calculator. So it will be four divided by nine. And our answer will be 0 0.444. And then that's it. That's the end of question three.